Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Julius Haryadi. I'm a primary care physician and hospitalist working here in the US. Today I'm going to share with you three best ways to use ChatGPT to study for USML exam. Let's discuss. So before we start, you need to know what determines your score. I can simply break it down to three simple factors. One, understanding the concept. Two, memorization. And three, application of your knowledge. So it would make sense if we use ChatGPT to help us in these three areas. So let's start with number one, how to use ChatGPT to help us understand the concept. So when you watch videos or doing a question bank, you will often encounter a topic that you don't really quite understand. Now you can use ChatGPT to help you understand and clarify and get clarity of the concept. Let's use an example. Let's say you're doing this question about shocks with a lot of up and down arrows. And there is this particular thing called mixed venous oxygen saturation, and you just don't really get it. In septic shock, mixed venous oxygen saturation is increased, but in neurogenic shock, it's actually decreased, even though both are considered to be distributive shock. You try to read the explanation, but you still don't quite get it. Now, this is where we can use ChatGPT. So you just hop onto ChatGPT, write a simple prompt like, why is mixed venous oxygen saturation increase in septic shock, but decrease in neurogenic shock despite their both distributive shock? And there you go, you will get all full explanation about this. Very, very amazing. Now, in case you still don't understand, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. You just can keep asking ChatGPT to clarify the concepts. You can ask ChatGPT to, let's say, please use simple words to help me understand this particular concept. Or you can be more, even more creative, like, can you give me an analogy to help me better understand of this topic? The possibilities are endless. Hi, we're getting back to the video in just a moment, but I would like to give you a gift for watching this video. I like to give you access for free on-demand video training of my USMLE test taking strategies that I have originally created myself after more than 3,000 hours of tutoring USMLE. This video is packed with how to read questions effectively, elimination strategies, 50-50 strategies, and time management strategies. This is the method that I use to get 258 and 261 in step one and step two CK. It's all in here and it's free. I want you to watch it because it is the test taking strategies method that I believe in. So watch it, take notes, apply it, so you can achieve the high USMLE score that you dream of of a free video training. Just go to juliusharyadi.com slash USMLE test taking strategies. Again, that's juliusharyadi.com slash USMLE test taking strategies. Now let's get back to the video. Now let's move on to the second one, how to use ChatGPT to help us memorize. Now, I think the best way to memorize is definitely going to be using Anki flashcards. So you can already guess it, you can use ChatGPT to help you create Anki flashcards, save you a lot of time. However, I'm a very big believer of creating your own cards because when you create your own cards, a lot of learning happens inside your brain. You put a lot of cognitive load and help you understand concepts. So even if you create your own cards, you can still use ChatGPT to assist you. If you have been using Anki for a while, you might notice that it's easier to write the answer part first before you create the question part. So you can ask ChatGPT to create the front part of the flashcard that would match the answers or the backside of the flashcard. Now we move on to the third and final point, how to use ChatGPT to help you apply knowledge. Now this is actually a very common issue. When a student learns a particular topic of disease, let's say they're studying about paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. They can explain the pathophysiology, the clinical presentations, the treatment, all of them. But when they encounter questions, they have a hard time recognizing that this is a paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. They are having difficulty to differentiate it with, let's say, other hemolytic anemias. So this is where you can use ChatGPT. You can just hop onto ChatGPT and type a simple prompt. Please write me a usually question about paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. And there you go. You will have a questions about it. Now you might think, well, what's really the point when I do the question bank? 
I will encounter the proxypon nocturnal hemoglobinuria and learn about it. Well, the point is, if you watch a video or read in first aid or whatever, you don't know when you're going to encounter this question in the question bank. But with ChatGPT, you can immediately create the questions and get familiarized yourself with the clinical presentation. Make sense? Now, there's another way to use it when you review a question bank. Let's say you're reviewing a question about otitis media. And one of the wrong answers is cholesteatoma. There is an explanation of cholesteatoma in the question bank, but let's say you're not confident enough after reading the short explanation that you will be able to recognize this disease in the real question. So what you can do is, again, just like last time, you can write a simple prompt, please write me a USMLE question about cholesteatoma. And there you go, you have a question about it. And in any case, there are clinical presentations or diagnosis that's very similar. You can again just ask ChatGPT how to differentiate diagnosis X with diagnosis Y in USMLE exam. That's one of the problem that you can use to help you differentiate one disease to another. And the ChatGPT will provide you with the explanation. So those are three ways how you can use ChatGPT to study for USMLE. Now my question to you, because the possibilities are endless, have you ever used ChatGPT to help you study for USMLE? If yes, please share it with us by putting the comment down below so we can all learn together. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video with more USMLE and residency matching tips. Bye!